Yeah, I was lucky enough to come to work for Master Brews because I said to them basically like, well, I don't have any real technical or coding skills, but I'm, I'm mm -hmm. great with people and customer service, so let's figure that out. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so we'll start drawing at, well, in three minutes, I suppose. Yeah, right at 10 o'clock, I'll do another, or 10 o'clock my time, right at, uh, right at the hour, I'll do another alert. And, uh, and then we'll give it another couple of minutes and then we'll get rolling. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. So uh, welcome to everybody who's joined so far. I appreciate appreciate it. You're the first ones, the most uh, uh, dedicated, the most motivated to be here, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm still struggling with what is it I'm going to draw. Uh, yeah. And I'm thinking. I was thinking if you guys have suggestions. I was thinking a uh, like either a gender bender superhero or like a mix of superheroes so first thing that comes to my head maybe harley quinn with uh wonder woman for example that would be fun or any oh, other sort would... of you can make suggestions yeah what do we think uh what do we think audience what uh, what would you like to see Put a put a timer on the chat room so that it doesn't get spammed. But if necessary, oh, yeah. I will lower the limit. No, Mo, you're good. You're in the right place. And I think we'll probably give it to about five minutes after the hour. Most people come in uh, a few minutes late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it suits me. I think I'm going to start looking up references for Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman. I quite like that combo. So, okay. If, if nothing nothing else comes up, then that's that's what I'm going for. Oops! Oops! Time for me to get up. Um, okay, good. <laughs> yes, I like that. I think that's a good idea. There we go. Oh yeah, you've got an up. You've got a, a vote in favor of the your your idea, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, crypto bingo. We probably aren't gonna give away that mechanism here. You're gonna have to wait until the actual drop to see how that works. What's that? The evolution. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no sneaky reveals, that's right. Yeah, there's a lot of support for your Wonder Woman Harley Quinn mashup. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, throw your, uh, oh, I know what I'm forgetting to do. Let me throw the music pod in here. Oh, yes. Now, That's we did get a, 
this is my bad. I didn't give enough time to get the playlists together. So I don't think we'll run a playlist competition today. Although I do have a heroes and a villains playlist. The villains playlist is, is, is a good length. The heroes playlist is only a few songs. So we won't use it as for a competition today, but we will have a music playlist competition down the road. That's for sure. I'm going to start with the villains playlist. Now, uh, the volume setting on this bot wasn't working for me this morning, so I recommend turning the actual bot volume down. If you right-click on the bot in the chat, you Look me in my eyes, tell me everything's not fine. All the people in the heart, and the river has run dry. You thought you could be paying with. Would you be able to pause the box for a second? I can't find it. I just. My uh, yeah. speakers are blowing out. Oh, yeah, sorry. Cool. So, yeah. What's the bot called? So I can turn it down. It's called Nico. Ah, oh, gotcha. Right. Use volume. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Let me try. It, it said, uh, in order to use the volume, you have to vote. So I voted. And mm. then it says, you haven't voted, so you can't use the volume. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Bastard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, right. I, I found it. So I could, I've turned it down. Yeah, on my okay. side at least. Yeah, and I recommend that again for anybody else who's joining us today. Find the Nico uh, username in this voice channel, N E E K O. Turn it down to about 25 or 30 percent. You can do that by right clicking or two finger clicking on the name and uh, taking user volume down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start the songs again in three, two, one. All right, I'm good with that. Perfect. Yeah, if it becomes a nuisance, we can always trash it. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if we can get. I know various and filtering shock are always up till about three or four in the morning their time. So, Jesus. Well, not sure if they'll be joining us today. They're probably already in meetings. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They do seem uh, very busy. Obviously, they run the whole of Master Brews, not just heroes and villains. So uh, I, I keep that's on thinking right. that's their only thing, and I expect to be answered immediately. But no, they're, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're busy folk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of <clears throat> crazy. I asked um, Adam if he wanted to join us, Tilting Shock, if he wanted to join us on an NFT game this afternoon, and he was oh, like... Yeah. Well, I'll try to watch, but I don't know that I can make it. <laughs> well, we have an awesome turnout right now. Thanks, really? everybody. I see 13 people streaming with us right now and another 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, and that means there's only one person not watching who's in the room. That's a good ratio. Normally, <laughs> we have like 50% of the people who don't bother clicking onto the feed. Oh, interesting. So... We're going to get started, as you can see, with some with some Harley Quinn, with some Wonder Woman, uh, in the Drawing with Ross channel. Go ahead and post any questions you may have for Ross. And yeah, Ross, whenever you're ready, you can take it away. Yeah, yeah, take it away. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a pose, really. I suppose I could just get started and see what we end up with. Uh, let me... Shrink these. Yeah, so whenever you're ready, um, if you want, you could tell us a little bit about your background, how you got started in art. Yeah, absolutely. So how I got started in art was um, 
it was mostly just a hobby for the longest time because uh actually see before i guess speaking i will turn that bot down just a little bit i just uh, turned the mic down yeah. yeah yeah um i was it was a hobby for the longest time and i just went through the usual school uh don't know what to do on myself so i just stay at school and see what happens um but all the while uh, i was actually coloring comic books uh, or rather I was coloring pinups before i got to coloring comic books and uh it was just more collaborating with pe collaborating with people uh often quite known well-known or professional artists and as a non-professional eventually they were like well, this guy is pretty good i don't know why he's not coloring books so they would yeah. recommend me for stuff you know talk to yeah. their editors and be like uh see this guy he's he's pretty cool and I th you, you know he'd probably probably looking for a job so why don't you check him out and you know maybe you can get him on something and eventually i did get onto something i got onto this book called skull kickers which is actually quite comedic uh it was an image book the the writer's jim zub and the artist was edwin huang and it's about a dwarf and this massive guy just being like sort of dungeon crawlers and going on adventures and i don't know hard to explain it but it's, it's great fun anyway i would i would recommend that book uh, that's awesome and, and that was, was my called? start skull kickers skull kickers yeah and like jim's uh, up jim's up that's the one awesome and so jim well i guess jim took a liking to me and he figured all right well he started writing this pathfinder book for dynamite you know pathfinder the the rpg like yes. Dun dungeon of dragons except you know second place i guess everyone knows dungeons and dragons but not so much pathfinder <laughs> they, I have uh, heard of pathfinder. Yeah. yeah so he uh he wrote the book pathfinder and he recommended me to dynamite entertainment for colors and that was my 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 first actual comic book because skull kickers i was secondary colorist so i was just helping the main colorist do her thing you know but pathfinder was right. my actual first book and that's why pathfinder was the uh the giveaway uh, a while back for uh, i can't remember what competition it was but oh, was it just a right. resharing thing right. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, right, we yeah. give away choose one to twelve or something. I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. So yeah, that, uh, that's so my start. I ended up killing the music bot because uh, I got a couple DMs that it was too loud. So. Ah, right. Yeah. I'll just I'll hum along. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a nice music bed in there for you. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> Um, how did you get hooked up with Mark? Shit. You know, I don't actually remember. Uh, yeah. it could have been, uh, I remember doing a commission for someone who, who had commissioned Jay to work over their lines. Um, how did that go? Yeah, I think it was just a commission that Jay had drawn and maybe Jay had hooked me up with Mark or something, but I, I really can't remember. There has been a lot of, uh, a lot of like personal commissions that I, I really didn't keep track of. Like it's easy to keep track of like, Oh yeah, I've done work for such and such company, but right. Yeah. But yeah Christ, I can't remember. It's, it's a good question though. Like it's, it's something I feel like I should have, should have remembered, but uh, <laughs> I don't know I'm a boob. No, that's all right. <laughs> it's, it's cool, though, that... Um, so let me ask you this, then. Mm -hmm. Were you familiar with Mark's work before you started working with him? It turns out, no. Um, but I think that's just a me thing, you know? Like, it's the yeah. it's same, same thing with almost everyone that I've worked for. One of my editors gets a real kick. He's like, oh, do you know uh, such and such, you know, like a really famous guy? And I'm like, ah, it's, uh, no. And he's like, I, I can't fucking believe you. Like, how how do you even get ahead in this business? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I just, 
I, I guess it's just because I didn't. I don't read much comics. Like I used to read a decent amount. Like when I started making money and I could afford to buy comic books, you know. But never as a kid could I afford them, so I never really got into them in that sense. Like I, I got into comic books because like I wanted to draw cool shit, and and comic books kind of offered that opportunity you know so now i have an affinity for them but surprisingly it's not like the the initial thing that i was engrossed about you know mm-hmm. that makes fair. sense that, it, that, that does make sense yeah I, I was um i i tend to have an obsessive personality and so i knew even from a kid that if i was to get into comic books i would probably just get way too far lost in them so (laughs) it's not something not something i came back to until later on in life really Mm -hmm. um so what were some of your first um you might have already touched on this a little bit but what were some of your first art inspirations if if it wasn't comic books necessarily uh you know that's interesting because i don't actually remember any names i remember seeing artwork uh, but this is as you know, maybe an eight to ten year old. Like I was, it, it was obvious that I was into art. But again, I didn't have that. Uh, I, I was, I was, I was pretty. Like you could say, I'm a late bloomer in a sense. Like mentally, I'm a late bloomer, uh, which okay. is you know sort of a joke, but also true. Uh, I just like I was playing video games until fucking christ i don't know and well until 25 let's say and then i started to grow up which is only like five years ago but uh (laughs) it's uh okay i remember the first name that i can think of is joe mad who done uh well he done he worked i think he started on x-men when he was like 16 for marvel like this guy was so talented you know and he's got this style yeah. which sort of mixes manga and the best of American comic books, and it's really detailed, and the line weight is tremendous, uh, and the energy is mad. Uh, well, mad. You know, his, his name's Joe Mad, and it's Joe Mad for a reason. Right. Uh, it, it's absolutely incredible. And he actually works in video games now. He's started a uh, it's Airship Syndicate, I think the the company is called, and he done a, a dungeon crawler recently called Battle Chasers which was his 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 original book it was his like sort of love letter to you know like fantasy style stuff and i know that really captured my attention but like joe mad's art is still my favorite probably although i've sort of branched out into other things i see no that's interesting i'll have to look him up as well that's cool a uh, question from the audience here what software do you use do you use a tablet as well Yes. Okay. So it's just plain Photoshop. Um, and the reason it's square instead of, you know, like a wide screen is just because I like, I've got internet on the left and then I've got, uh, sorry, web browser on the left and then I've got Photoshop on the right. So I just split the screen, which is why some people might not recognize it. And, uh, what was the second question? Do you use a, like a drawing tablet? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I do use a drawing mm-hmm. tablet. For the longest time, I was using just your average Intuos, um, like bamboo style, which is like the smallest one you can get. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when I started getting decent and uh, I got a bit of money, I got like the big Cintiq behind me, which is like your your twenty four inch. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember what you call it. Uh, just a screen that you draw on instead of like a. A bit of plastic that you draw on. What is it called? Okay. Goddamn. Uh, not sure. Yeah, doesn't matter. It'll come to me. Yeah. It'll come to me in like five minutes when it's not relevant. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's always the case. Oh, uh, Tilting Shark has a question. Did your phone survive its swimming adventure in the toilet? Uh, that's that's t- <laughs> still to be determined. Uh-huh. That that was awful, by the way, because like I just finished your, uh, you know, my business, let's say, and it wasn't the good yeah. kind of business, right? So there's, you know, there's some some tears and vomit. That, that, but, that was before you dropped the phone. Yeah, yeah. 
it. <laughs> um, I um, I worked for ten years for a let's call it a, a fruit company that purveyed popular phones, and uh, uh, I was one of the guys that fixed them. And yeah, we 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 had some interesting rules around uh, bio phones, as we called them. Oh, what are they? The, their phones that, that were in a toilet before they came to us. And, oh. <laughs> uh, and uh, technically, we're allowed to refuse service for that, but, uh, right. you know, depends on depends on how nice you are to me. Yeah, I suppose. Eh? Someone comes in being a dick, you're like, you listen, I, I don't like you already. What, you're going to fucking give me your phone that you shot on? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, let me think. We, we had really interesting. We had people who would come back from from long trips, or 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 long times living in Africa, right? And they'd come back with literal bugs in their computer. Like, why is my <laughs> computer working? You open it up, and there's all these weird African <laughs> bugs in there. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Uh. uh... Yeah, so Gem Hunter is asking, um, and we've talked about it a little bit as well already, but um, any uh, inspirations from like specific movies or manga that you can think of, or you know, when you're starting uh, with a blank canvas, uh, what are some of the things that le- leads you down the path that you end up going on? Right. Clear. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's clear. It's. Um... I don't, I don't think it's a question I have an answer to really, because being honest, right, my thing, and this is why I'm sort of struggling here with anatomy, right, is I, well, I am first and foremost like a comic book colorist, which means that I've made my bread and, bread and butter basically taking someone else's drawing and painting over it, you know, right. which, which means that because I've been doing that for so long, I've neglected my actual art skills, like illustration wise. Uh, And this is what I do for Mark. You know, I I take his drawings, well, Jay and Mark's drawings and I paint over them. Like that's, that's what I can do very efficiently. And that's like sort of my thing. But uh, yeah, because I've neglected my own skills, I, I can't, I've not, I've not really thought about it. Like, what inspires me out it's, it's almost like i've not done it enough to to know the answer to that uh right. i'll tell you what films i've liked recently was uh actually it's not even a recent film i watched battle angel alita recently oh, yeah. and that was fucking dope i love that nice. absolutely love that like the the actual world building and like the character emotions and i don't know just something about it I absolutely loved and I guess it was the setting as well. It was just, it was spot on. I really loved it. Nice. Uh, another thing that I just mm-hmm. thought of there, sorry. No, and this is this is more just like a recommendation to everyone. If you've not seen that Star Trek cartoon, I can't remember what it's called, Lower Decks. Lower Decks, Lower yes. Decks. That is, that is pretty fun. Like I didn't think of myself as like a Star Trek guy, but I don't know, that's just like a really well-made cartoon. Mm-hmm. Agreed. You were, you a fan of, were you a fan of like the Next Generation or Voyager or any of those era Star Treks? No, no. I just like I, I've never really watched it. I mean, I watched that recent Netflix one. I think it was Netflix. The uh, you know the modern one with a cool sci-fi. Discovery. Uh, yeah, I think it was yeah. Discovery. Yeah. Uh, and I was impressed with that. So I was like, ah, oh, maybe the Star Trek thing has something to it i think i think i just got bothered with star trek because it was on at the same time as like the simpsons when it was growing up (laughs) right uh or or it must have like i just took a disliking to it because it deprived me of something i wanted to see probably but yeah there's something there i like it yeah um lower decks is fun it's fun on that level and it's also fun on like uh uh it's really good satire of of mm. the next generation and Deep Space Nine, so right. all the jokes are kind of tongue in cheek. Uh, you know, we we know what you're really thinking, Star Trek fans kind of jokes. All right, cool, cool. Um, like I've just seen, uh, I just seen the episode where uh, 
oh Christ, I can't even remember her name. Like the main character, the two main characters, I think it's uh, Boimler and Mariner. That's like right. they tried, they tried to get into the party with all the the high officials. They couldn't get in, and then the bartender at the bar that they're at, they're like, she just taps on the table, and they've got like the Spock and Kirk signature carved into the wood. And that just made me think, Jesus, this thing is like so full of natural, like organic um, storytelling. Or I don't know, it's just like the writing's really good in this thing. I was, I was pretty in awe with it, really. Um, yeah. It's, but it's really good. Like, I, I don't know how we got to Star Trek, but uh, yeah, recommend for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, good. Just, just from uh, things you've watched recently that, that mm-hmm. you've enjoyed. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I, I quite enjoy Lower Decks as well, even to the point where I, I may listen to a weekly podcast about it after it airs. So, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wilson Fisk wants to know, who is your favorite character to work on? Uh, let me see. Uh, again, the... The characters that I've worked on have been limited. Um, I worked for DC for a short while. I think, like in the space of a year, uh, I've done like uh, six issues for them and some mini comics and whatnot. And I did get to color uh, Wonder Woman on a few occasions, uh, and I got to color uh, Alfred, which is not quite Batman, but for me it was like, uh, you know, that's cool, Batman officially. Right. So probably I would say Wonder Woman just out of, uh, you know, well, cause she's cool and it's probably like the only real big name that I've, I've managed to do officially, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. When I was a kid growing up, Superman was my guy. I was just so hard to superman i <laughs> i remember i have a very distinct memory of being three or four and just running around in the whole superman outfit with the cape just running around the house and <laughs> nice well he is the quintessential hero you can't go wrong there yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah to me i i and really still to this day i can't i know this is just opening up a can of worms and people <laughs> in the audience Feel free to tell me I'm wrong, but uh-huh. I just can't picture anybody beating Superman. I don't know how that's possible. No, no, I think uh, I think you're right there. I think you're right. Um, Wilson says the hips are looking good today. I assume he means drawing, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do like my hips. <laughs> so what um, what kind of turned the conversation for you guys to? Uh, just so you know, Penguin, I can't hear you anymore. Has he, has he buggered oh. off? Yeah. Can so anybody, no, I can hear you now. Uh, you st- oh. like there was a question, there was a start of a question, I think, and then it just got off. Maybe, yeah, maybe I just mumbled. Um, okay. I was just wondering how how the conversation turned to NFTs for, for you, Mark and Jay. How did that come about? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh... Good question. So, because okay, somehow I started working with Mark. Who who remembers um, right. how? But somehow I started working with Mark and Jay. And every so often, like it, you know, me and Mark would get talking, or or he would just be like, "Oh, uh, by the way, I've got such and such uh, piece to make. Would you would you like to color it? Here's what I can pay you." And uh, and jobs are good and I would, I would always say yes because obviously he's a pleasure to work with and obviously the art is always great you know so I'm like yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, and it turns out that this one was for uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of Jose Delbo who is in the NFT space as well he's like a, I think he's like 88 year old uh, golden age comic book artist just uh, quite the he, he was in early, you know, like one of the, the OGs of NFTs, you could say. Very cool. uh, and Mark was doing a collaboration with this guy. And I say this guy, 
I, I, I still work with him. Like, uh, you know, he's he's plenty cool. Uh, so Mark was doing a collaboration with him. He recommended me as colors, and then I done that for Jose Delbo and Mark McKenna. Uh, okay. And from there, like, the well, the money was good, and more work was coming in. And Mark got approached by Maker's Place. It was, and he just started doing. I can't remember. Which was, oh, was Star Wars stuff. That's right. He was doing Star Wars stuff for Maker's Place, uh, which was selling well. And so we were doing one piece every other every other week, whereas before it would just be like a piece, uh, an artwork every, you know, every month or every couple months. Uh, and and for Mark, uh, I mean, I can't really talk for him too much, but it's been a sort of renaissance for him because uh, Marvel and DC. Or they don't want to pay his rates anymore, you know. Like, ah, we'll just go with younger people. Sure. Uh, which is, you know, fair enough. But you know, Mark's still a great inker uh, and artist, and you know, he should be doing stuff. And anyway, this NFT stuff came along, and it's he's just exploded. You know, it's amazing. And you can t- well, you can tell by you know this project, Heroes and Villains, uh, the interest it's stirring up, like just with the the Mark McKenna name. I mean, not only that, you know, it's a great project anyway, but. But yeah, it's been it's been really cool. So it's basically just from Mark getting that uh, with Maker's Place and that Delbo thing for me, it's kind of taken off from there. It's right. been interesting for sure. Yeah, and had you personally been aware of NFTs prior to getting involved with? Um, I I guess before you you needed to work on one professionally. Had you? Mm-hmm. Heard- no, no, I didn't actually. Um, completely oblivious. Like I've, I'd heard of crypto before because I had a mate that was mining Ethereum some. I know I, I'm, I'm tempted to say five years back could have been could have been a bit shorter, but he was mining Ethereum, uh, and I know mm-hmm. that he sold it all because you know it just dropped. It was it was on right. that that year long sort of dip, uh, and I think he just got rid of it, which is a shame. But uh, Oops. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, big oops. Yeah. Um, so that that's kind of my next question, which was, had had you ever, or have you ever dabbled in crypto, or or has this led you to dabble in crypto? Yeah, yeah, it, it's led me to to crypto. Um, because I seen the stuff happening with Mark, and then I was like, all right, Ethereum, let me check that out. Uh, and it was at the point where you know it was it was sort of ramping up to its all-time high which was uh, i can't remember what it was now but uh, it was a lot um and so i'd only put maybe a few hundred in there because i was like all right i'm going to try minting some nfts myself i'm going to need some you know gas fees so i'll put some money in there and you know by the time i was ready to mint it it would all it almost doubled no probably not what was it (laughs) It was a lot, anyway. It's like Jesus Christ, this this is uh, this is good, you know. Like uh, I wonder, I wonder how I can profit from this. Uh, and so I yeah. put more money in there, uh, but it was the all time high just before it dipped. So that was unfortunate. Yeah. And I say, I say more money. It was like too much money that I could afford, you know. But uh, it's still in there, and you know, it's built. It's coming back up again. So yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I tend to fall into the, I don't go in planning to buy high and sell low, but Mm. (laughs) it just seems to work out that way. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, uh, you see some people on Twitter, oh, I made such and such, uh, especially like flipping NFTs. I'm like, Jesus, like, that's, that's what I want to do. (laughs) How do I, how do I make this happen? It seems every other guy has managed except me. I, um, we, we, I've had a couple, actually what hooked me in the NFT space was uh, I bought one for $100 and sold it immediately for 1000 That one, oh. So that, that kind of hooked me. Nice. Yeah, yeah dig that. We'll, we'll talk offline about uh, tips and tricks, but yeah. Yeah, it suits me, it suits me. <laughs> um, um, Tilting Shock wants to know, without spoiling too much of the project, what was the most difficult aspect working on the Heroes and Villains project? Uh, 
The, okay, difficult, perhaps not. This was probably the easiest part of it, but it was the most uh, annoying, I guess. Uh, I, I recently just saved all the indi individual files for the base characters, you know? Yeah. And obviously that's not artistic. It's just pure technical, you know, like, you know, just control S, file name, save. And you do that for like hundreds of pieces, you know, it's, it's mind numbing. Uh, right. The most challenging uh, of the artwork so far is, uh, you know, it's probably the powers. Um, okay. Just because it's it's hard to make things modular and universal so it will fit with every other character that is minted, you know. Right. Uh, but in, in a way where, you know, actually it looks good. Um, <laughs> I can say that there will be variation somewhat um, for very special. It's probably getting getting a bit too far, so I'll stop there. But there's, you know, it's it's modular, but it's still awesome, basically, and that's probably the most challenging part. Uh, and it was it was challenging because usually, like, it's it's Jay and Mark that sort out the line art, but if needed, like, we'll all come together and brainstorm. Mm -hmm. And exchange ideas and that because we are all artists even though in comic books we have different roles you know like jay's the pencil or marks the inker i'm the colorist but we all know how to do like drawing and shit you know so right. it's, it's great when we get like the three minds together and be like all right well how can we achieve this it's like uh you know meeting of the minds basically of the uh the, uh, the not so genius minds but still <laughs> I don't know. I, I've seen some of the artwork, and that's that's definitely from the minds of geniuses. And I, <laughs> I couldn't pull anything else, anything like that off. Ah, uh, you're too kind. Too kind. Uh, right. Okay. Well, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you focus on the drawing for a few minutes, and then we'll see if anybody else has a question. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let me see. I am. Um, uh, it, it's interesting to me that the drawing right now could be, you know, it's obviously humanoid, but I, mm. I could see it easily like, oh, actually, it's a reptile or oh, actually, it's a <laughs> robot. I could see you kind of go in various ways with it now if you needed to. Yeah, for sure. It could be. I and mean, I, I think I spend probably far too long on this stage. But I do like the whole, I don't know, just anatomy thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Taking my time with that. Good base. Yeah, totally. We can be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of uh, being here all day, I am on my 4G for because for some reason the 4G is much better than the broadband here. Go figure. But oh. uh, hopefully I've got plenty. Like I'm on a like a 60 gigabyte plan. <clears throat> and I doubt I doubt we'll get through that much, but uh, if I do cut out, it'll be for that reason. And if I cut out, well, we're just gonna have to end it. But yeah, yeah. we we well, we uh, make do with what we've got. Eh? That's right. Everybody's getting their money's worth today already. So it's all <laughs> uh, it's all you know. It's been fascinating. It's fascinating to watch this and, mm -hmm. and to hear you talk about uh, some of your background and inspiration. That's that's. Um, I think why we're here and, and why we all gathered and you know we've got about 20 people watching right now and oh nice thank everybody uh, for coming out it's it's a really um it's really nice this community that we've started to put together and that has come 10 or 15 days um is really awesome and, and helping each other and mm. um you know even though some of us are heroes and some of us are very, very nicely which is it's yeah, not always uh, it's like a, it's like a rivalry but it's friendly you know it's uh it's it's a happy rivalry instead of like oh villains fucking stink you know suck my uh suck my dick <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh 
Dan C. Pauly, or as I call him, Dance Pauly, um, <laughs> wants to know if this artwork will become one of the NFTs. And uh, we were talking about it earlier today. And no, actually, the finished project, we will uh, run a giveaway uh, right a, as right towards the end of the stream here. We'll run a giveaway in the Drawing with Ross text channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we won't announce it. We'll just, we'll just, well, we'll announce it on stream here, but we won't announce it anywhere else. So yeah. hopefully only the people who are here today will actually, will actually win it. Yeah, I'll put that up in about 10 minutes. Yeah, only the people uh, here actually deserve it. Exactly. Being good eggs, joining us. Yeah. <clears throat> good eggs. Oh, Dance Polly is typing. Now, Matt, I just committed you to having to finish whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, totally. I was thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, you're very kind. Yes, you are very kind with your time and with your art. Yes, oh, oh, please. Keep, keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is it raining? Uh, you know, my my curtains are closed. Yeah, yeah. And and they shouldn't be, but uh, you know, it's cold. Like it's cold here. It's, it's gotten really cold recently. Yeah, obviously the yeah. winter's coming in, so I just keep the curtains closed. Like we've only we've only got single glaze in here. The uh, the energy rating's absolutely abysmal, you know. So wow. uh, so yeah, winter's winter's hard. It must be hard to keep that five hundred year old castle you live in free of drafts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're, we've not even started with the uh, the drafting draft roofing. It's it's an absolute uh, it's a, it's a it's a task that uh, I'm not yet ready to to tackle. You know. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I, I figured that with the conversation between a Canadian and a Scot, we'd have to talk about the weather at least once. So. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Is the weather shit where you are? Yes. How about you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw the sun? Oh, it's been a few days. <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're getting some uh, yeah. some Wonder Woman features on the go here, which is uh, a relief. I figured I was going to spend so long in that beginner phase. All right. I'm not sure if, like, obviously this sketch is making sense to me because I'm the one doing it. But I'm not sure if no, it's I, making sense to everyone. You, you're feeling it. You get what's it, going I'm, on. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I okay. get the the pose is definitely giving me Harlequin vibes, and then the <laughs> uh, what would you call that chest chest piece corset. Yeah, the yeah. corset is giving me Wonder Woman vibes, so yeah, for yeah. sure. Did you see um, the Harley Quinn movie with the long name no. that Margot Robbie, Robbie was in? No, uh, uh, but I mean, you'll be you'll be surprised and probably ashamed of me when I say like I've not seen a superhero movie and maybe two years like everything like infinity war or deadpool 2 or anything like major i've just not seen and uh you know i, I feel ashamed of myself but uh, i don't know it's the way it is it's like with video games i just don't have time yeah fair enough yeah, but, i haven't played a video game in quite some time i do try to get to the movies every Though, especially now that they're opened back up again. Oh, for sure. Oh, what about um, June was recently released, right? You see that? Didn't see that. No. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, you know, like the from the old, really old films, June and the novels and whatnot. Like the old films are. I don't know. I just found them unwatchable because it's like I, I like recent good. Uh, what would you say like visuals special effects and it just didn't have that and it's for me anything that doesn't have like good visuals i just can't watch like i know fair I'm enough. a bit stuck up there fair enough 
Yeah, I um, what was the last movie I saw? I don't know. Last summer they were running all the classic movies. I took my kid to see Jaws on the screen. Ah, <laughs> nice. Um, Wilson wants to know, and I'm just going to read this question as is. Okay. Do you do a lot of mirrored lines? I notice you going forth. Are you just filling left to right? I, I, I don't often do mirrored lines, although in this instance it could have been handy, but I don't know. Like if it's really just like straight on. Uh, and no sort of variation in left right pose you know then i can use it but no not not in this piece i i, I mean i do i do go from left to right just sort of as a, a method of trying not to forget anything on either side which is easily done and crypto bingo says you need to watch the new blade runner uh, blade runner 2049 yeah that was good Ah, yeah, I've not seen that. I... But I, I mean, there sh should really be a list put together for me because I'm that, I'm that behind. Yeah. All right. I... Well, how, how about can we tackle the questions about master brews then? Oh sure, and I've got uh, tilting and various here with us. So if if they happen to hear a question and want to jump in, they mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. more than welcome to. Well, unlike you, I did not come prepared, but I figure, like, because I, obviously I'm familiar with Master Brews, but not in its entirety. Like, I, I almost feel like it's a it's a DAO in some sorts because it's not just oh here's some NFTs that you can buy for us. It's also here's some NFTs, but you get perks, you get potential. Is it percentage from NFTs that are bought? I'm not entirely sure. Could you give me a rundown exactly of how it works? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to. And um, uh, yeah, so, so there there is definitely... <laughs> Tilting says he's not jumping in. This is a test. If I answer wrong, I'm out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'll hopefully rise to the challenge. Um, <laughs> uh, so there are, there are a couple levels of of master brews nfts but but essentially you're correct every every master brews nft comes with um a few different perks the base perk that everyone gets of course is art some unique art to their to their actual master brews nft which is awesome yeah um and then they also get the dividend token the embrew dividend token and um depending on which NFT you end up with, and I'll talk more about those in a moment, mm -hmm. depending on which NFT you end up with, you can get anywhere between 250 to 50,000 um, of these Embrew dividend tokens. Right. And Master Brews is putting a, a percentage of their income into a community pool, and then you can get a payout of that community pool based on the percent of tokens that you hold as compared to the whole pool. Oh, I see. I see. Um, so these tokens, so, sorry to butt in, but no, the, the tokens, are they are they like an actual cryptocurrency or is that more just like an in-house sort of a thing on a website? Yeah, they're, 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 they're not their own currency necessarily. They're a utility token. Okay. Um, so they, they serve a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, the tokens themselves are hard-coded into the NFT. So there isn't a way to say, well, I have this NFT and I have these tokens. It's, I've got this NFT that represents these tokens, and if I were to sell the NFT, then those tokens would be sold along with it. Right, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Right, so... Um, uh, oh, shit. I forgot. I had someone to ask, but I forgot. Okay. Sorry. If it comes to me again, are, I'll jump in. Yeah, just interrupt, just interrupt me. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are multiple levels of of Master Brews NFT. So uh, for every NFT you purchase, you get essentially what's called a consumer can um, because mm -hmm. it takes on the aesthetic of a beer can. Mm -hmm. And um, that consumer can, that's what gets you the 250 Ambrews tokens, uh, the unique art, 
other perks like master booze holders for example they get two pre-sale passes for for the heroes and villains project right um but every can you purchase has the chance of of coming with a bonus can and that bonus can could be for example there's a one of one nft by the artist please and thank you um that includes some visual and audio elements to it um so one in one in 10,000 cans will come with that nft effectively making it a one of one right so you... uh you also get you can also earn free whelps so i don't know if you're familiar with our other project whelps which is about the uh you start off with a dragon egg a mm -hmm. dragon egg and then the NFT evolves until you get uh, a fully grown dragon five or six evolutions later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, you could get a free one of those. Um, and then you also have the option or, or the possibility of getting either a distributor can or a master brewer can. And a distributor can and a master brewer can not only do you get higher levels of tokens, you get 5,000 with the distributor or 50,000 with the master brewer, you also get a percentage of art sold within the country that you're assigned. So, oh, for right. example, I, I have a master brewer, the country I was assigned. So in the future, when master brewer, its marketplace opened up, mm. uh, any sales... Uh, from Indian artists, I will get a portion of the transaction fees for that because I hold this master brewer NFT. Right, interesting, interesting. Is there, because um, I did read it over it when I first heard it of when Mark first mentioned them, and is there a is there a discount if you hold a master brews? Is there a discount for art that you that master brews uh, releases? So during the pre-sale phase, there was a discount on transaction fees uh -huh. uh, from within the Master Brews marketplace. Um, that feature is no longer available because we're okay. into the regular sale now. Right, gotcha, gotcha. So it's like a, an early uh, early adopter thing. That's right. Okay, cool, cool. No, I do like that. Um, I do like that because it just, uh, I don't know, maybe I just didn't take enough time to figure it out. Or maybe it was just, I don't know, you know, you're busy, you get busy. So you're yeah. like, ah, forget about it, I'll read it later. The amount of things that I tell myself I'll read later, like even text messages from my best friends, I'm like, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute, oh, I... you know, and then fucking two weeks later, I'm like, ah, uh, well, I can't answer now because, you know. So, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. You just, you'd look like a, you look like a dick if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you an ass. <laughs> Oh, Oh, I guess I'm fired because I forgot the best perk of all. Oh, you get no. to be friends with Wilting Shock. <laughs> well, yeah, for what that's yeah. worth. <laughs> <laughs> so Dance Polly wants to know if you're able to buy a distributor or a master brew can, or is it randomly assigned? It is randomly assigned. Um, so you get your consumer can and you open that up and you're either going to get your bonus can or you're not. I was lucky enough to pull a master brews, uh, uh, bonus can, which I, I've had a, a bit of a, a run of luck lately. I'm waiting for the other shooter now, but yeah. Um, you can also get, uh, a free consumer can. So your bonus can may be a second consumer can. And that's cool because then you get the extra 250 tokens. There's also a discount. So if you buy one, it's 0 0.08 ETH. But if you buy three or if you buy five, it's bulk discounts. All right. Uh, what else did I want to ask about Master Brews? Mm, okay, I can't remember. It was it was it was something amazing, that's for sure. But I just can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all this amazing uh, stuff. Yeah, Dance Polly got three cans, no bonus cans. Can't wait to see the artwork. Awesome. Yeah, we reveal new art days, so you'll get that uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, I've been involved with Master Brews unofficially. I want to say about May, um, 
coming on board first as an investor and then um, just doing some moderation stuff on the Discord. And then uh, I've had this role that I'm currently in for about three weeks now, two or three weeks. So, yeah, it's been fun. It's been an awesome journey. Yeah, I, uh, doing a good job for sure. Yeah. It's full a, of life. I mean, a, month, a month ago, I, I had just celebrated my what 22nd year in customer service and retail and and now i'm not doing that anymore so it's been a huge shock for me it's been fantastic nice mo's got eight consumers and a bonus wealth that's awesome uh thanks broccoli says i've been doing a great job yeah agreed uh, well thank you I appreciate that. It's hard to take compliments, but my therapist has to work on it. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. The best way to handle it is just say thank you. Oh my god! Yeah, exactly. what, what am I doing with this face? Oh. <laughs> Faces are hard. I think I might just fucking put put it in shadow. There you go. Or shades. No, no let me see. Because I like the rest of it, but that's not good. I like that. It looks like cotton candy coming out of her head right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me see. How am I going to handle this? Oh, thanks, Wilson. Yeah, so, um, oh, I completely, we got so into talking that I forgot that giveaway. Let that up now. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's have this run for 15 minutes. So it's going to be a quick one, every quickly. And that is up now in the Drawing with Boss chat. Go ahead and enter for today's draw. I'm going to cheat and copy paste this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tilted Chalk says I'm doing okay and there's room for improvement. And you know what? I agree. There is always room. <laughs> you can never be perfect at your job. Uh, still not good. Fuck this. Very soon it's going to be Harley's wearing a mask. Yeah, that's okay too. <laughs> that's going to just... have to be. It's going to end up with Mar Marco Roby's uh, face photoshopped over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, copy pasted. There you go. Problem yeah. solved. Shame. Shame. I don't know. Uh, I, you know. Usually, I can do faces, but uh, you know, I'm under a lot of pressure here. People watching. That's right. It's Dodging. like, uh, it's like, yeah, you, you know how you can't when you can't pee in front of people. That's called gentleman's bladder. So if you go, like, right. if you're in the pub, you go to pee and you can't do it. Gentleman's bladder. It's the same, but with, with art. Yeah. People watch. You've got uh, gentleman's bladder. <laughs> I uh, sadly have never had that problem. Yes. Sadly, that's, that's a good thing, surely. <laughs> we'll see. I can remember some times in university when maybe that alley was a little too convenient, but yes. <laughs> uh, Art Shaker, I'm not forgetting the Twitter squad, but is that those who found out about this on Twitter will have come into our Discord today to participate because. Uh, this giveaway is Discord exclusive, so that's, yeah, that's baby. what you get. Oh. oh, somebody took away their vote because of that. They're not happy that it's Discord oh. exclusive. <laughs> oh, there it came back. Oh, it went away. Um, yeah, decided. that said, only 10, pe only 10 people have entered, and there's about 20 or more watching, so tisk, tisk. Uh, if you're looking for it, it's in the Drawing with Ross channel. Uh, 
All right. Let me zoom out. Is this any better? That's slightly better. I still don't know what's wrong, though. It's lovely. Well, you're kind. Very kind. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no, the entire process is fascinating to me. Uh, I am not uh, not a, a fine artist. I can write pretty well but I'm not a fine artist, so seeing this part of the process has always been interesting to me. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it's rough. Because like I say, or, or like I've said before, still still working on the actual illustration skills, the, the coloring I can handle fine, but I mean, if you're watching a true, like, penciler, or, you know, maybe even an inker, uh, they'd be to be flying for this you know but this is uh it's slow like there's a lot of trial and error as you can see if someone who knows what they're doing perfectly yeah it would be uh i think it'd be a lot more gripping but you know like i say we do what we can and it's still turning yeah. out all right so actually maybe that's a good question uh possibly to end on We've kept people for an hour so once you've once you've entered the draw uh, if you have to take off feel free you do not have to be present to win as long as you were here when you entered um but my question is what is sort of the division of responsibility between you jay and and mark for uh for he heroes and villains you mean for heroes and villains yeah right okay so uh it it is the main comic book method i suppose you know you've got your penciler your inker and your colorist Jay's the main penciler. He's the guy behind everything. Like most of the ideas, uh, they've come from well Mario. So see, Mario's as well, rather, who is working in the background, uh, doing the trees, and he's got a lot of ideas. He's been working closely with Jay to figure out how do we put these ideas to paper. Also with Mark, he's been putting a lot of input in there as well. But once Jay has finished the pencils, he'll show it to me and Mark. Uh, we'll be like, I wonder if it will work uh, this way or that way, or if there's any improvements. I think the biggest uh, challenge for when he shows us recently has been, all right, well, how do we make it modular? You know, like, how can this fit to every character that we do? And that's uh, that's been the main, my main concern, at least, because when it finally gets to me, well, actually, okay, I'll get to there. Once we've decided how to do it, uh, the line art's good. He'll send it over to Mark. Mark will print it out. Often it'll be like a, a, a sort of light cyan blue that you print out in. So you can take the ink to paper in pure black, and then you can just remove the blue in Photoshop afterwards. I don't know if that makes sense, does it? Mm -hmm. Like you print print yeah. the pencils out in blue, and then you go over it in blacks. Yeah. And then he sends, he scans and sends it to me, uh, and I just copy and paste it into the the main file, put it in place, resize if necessary, and then I'll get color in, uh, and and that's how we do it. There there is a lot of trial and error, um, and you know, we're we're still figuring some sh some stuff out, but uh, it, it's it's going pretty pretty swimmingly. I must say we're we're on track and we're doing great stuff. So it's. Yeah, it's exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I um, oh, so fascinating to me. Just to, I, I knew nothing about this process, and um, I know um, various mentioned this in a meeting the other day. But are the movie Chasing Amy, the Kevin Smith movie? Yeah, Chasing yeah, yeah. Amy? that's right. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, uh, you know, the jokes about tracers and, and <laughs> yeah, things yeah. like that. That's, that was about my whole exposure. Yeah, um, it's it's really handy because it's you know you, every everyone on the team is doing the thing that they do best uh, and have trained years and years to do. Like I say, like we're all competent artists in the other domains, but it's really uh, yeah, it's really like a meeting of the minds, and we're all like it. 10 years plus at least veteran in comic books you know i've been coloring comic books for 10 years i, I think right. jay's jay's the same but mark he's like 35 plus years 
<laughs> and uh, you know, like he's 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 worked with everyone, like every big name you can think of. He's, he's been at Marvel, you know. He's got stories with Stan Lee and stuff. It's uh, you know, he's he's a big vet, you know, like a major uh, major stuff. Like it's it's, it's impressive anyway, and uh, like we couldn't we couldn't produce something like this if we weren't working as a team you know because we're all doing our separate things and it's coming together and and like we've been working with mark for ages now so it's like so well oiled and we work so well together that it's like it's, it is like the dream team for this i feel yeah yeah it's yeah, impressive that's um yeah you guys all seem to to mesh well together mm-hmm. together um, from from what I've seen of you guys interacting, it's like you're all, uh, yeah, you're all old pals just working together, which is yeah, always yeah. nice. Uh, it's nothing stronger than family. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know the, <laughs> the meme. <laughs> um, Dance Polly wants to know how many man put into the art. Do you think? How many what? Sorry. How many like hour? How many total hours? Oh, of sheer work time between the three of you for H and V. Uh, Christ, I wouldn't yeah. even know where to start. Like, uh, I mean, we're probably at. Nah, I mean, I, I'm not even going to say it's like easily hundreds, if not thousands. Hundreds, if not thousands. Between yeah. between all of us, like not thousands each between all of us. No. It is substantial yeah. anyway. It's a lot. That's a lot. And I know you said to me um, that we wanted this event to be earlier this week because you feel like your work's only going to ramp up this week. So Yeah, absolutely. Like I say, we're, we're on track. We're in good stead. Um, and I'm going to get most of it done. I think by, by the time this week has ended, I'm going to have everything done. And then it'll be time for, all right, this, like it'll be time for testing, you know? Uh, right. Or more ideas, or um, you know, just anything that comes up, we're going to be on on standby to do it. So, so yeah, there's there's a lot more to come, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're on track, but it's, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that I will get sort of overrun. So, and I'm thinking that's I'm going to have to start doing my my daily warm up, you know, of the uh, individual community members, which is a shame, but uh, you know. We need, we need the the actual main stuff yeah. done before we do that. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I think I think probably a successful NFT drop is more important than individual drawings <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. as they are. Yeah, it was fun though. Especially, I yeah. love that that Chantu one. You know, with the the big yeah. brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that one's awesome. I've used that a couple times yeah, as yeah. promotion already. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um. Cool, and we have about three minutes left in the giveaway. Does not look like everybody's entered. So, drawing with Ross text channel, go ahead and enter into that. And um, I think if it's all right with you, Ross, we'll mm-hmm. we'll wind it down if you don't mind putting the finishing touches on without an audience. And then yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'll just um, do the. Uh, that's what we got anyway. Full view. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to imply it wasn't complete or anything <laughs> <laughs> that's uh your vision but yeah. uh any final questions as we wrap up about uh, about three minutes left in the draw and yeah lots of great comments coming on Genway says ross is a perfectionist dance Polly says looks epic <laughs> awesome yeah thank you yeah mo says thank you yeah and thanks so much for everybody for tur- tuning turning turning out tuning in yeah, I appreciate it. Um, it was really, really fun. And uh, I think Ross was uh, attempting to record this. So if that ended up being successful, we will put up the recording of this for everybody mm-hmm. to walk and rewatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, Should have worked. And uh, yeah, anything I missed, guys? Any Or, or any, any different projects that you want to promote? Uh, nah, I, I don't think so. 
uh, I, I do have a project actually. I've, I've got this um, this NFT series that I'm doing, but it's been sort of put on the side while I'm doing H and V. It's called Pokey Babes. It's essentially just really attractive uh, cyborg Pokemon, which oh. you can find at pokebabes.org if you want to check out. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's it's put on hold. It's not it's not booming. But if you like the art, feel free to pick something up. Okay, awesome. Pokebabes.org, and yeah, just another another way for me to feel confused about myself, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it, people have been like, "Where did you get the idea from?" I'm like, "I don't fucking know, man. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just draw things that I want to, right?" Yeah, <clears throat> I can't be responsible for the things I think. I <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll stick around another minute. I'll I'll put her on the stream. We'll go enjoy our days. Mm, absolutely. Uh, well, yep. Yeah, I think it was I think it was a great idea. Thanks for having me on, anyway. And uh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks for doing this. Thanks to Xerix for the idea. That was awesome. Uh, awesome idea. Yeah. Right. On. And uh, yeah, that's it. Well, we'll we'll leave our final words to tilting. Uh, thanks, guys. This was a lot of fun. Yes, I agree. Tilting it was right. absolutely fantastic. Perfect. All right. All right. Catch you guys Thank later. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Bye. And if you stick around for another minute, everyone else, I will let you know. Bye.